Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. As the title of this video shows, a strange story has hit the news this week as an Egyptian mummy has spoken for the first time in 3000 years. Ok, speaking isn't quite accurate, but academics at Royal Holloway, the University of London, University of York and Leeds Museum scanned the mummy of an Egyptian priest called Nessie Armen, and 3D printed his vocal tract and then played sound waves through it to create an impression of how the priest might have sounded. And although somewhat of an anticlimax, here is the sound recorded by the experts. <coughs> <coughs> As you can hear the noise is very much a nondescript bleat, but this is only the first stage of work by the scientists, who next hope to use computer modelling to recreate words and whole sentences using the ancient priest's vocal tract. They want to eventually try this same technique on other famous people, and bring back to life the voices of notable figures throughout history. Talking to the media, Professor John Schofield from the University of York said, for me, it felt like shining the torch into Tutankhamun's tomb, and seeing something that hadn't been seen in thousands of years. This is just the sound created with the head at an unnatural angle. What it amounts to though, is a proof of concept from which we can develop additional vowel sounds using computer modelling. He continued, First we plan to stick with Nessie Armen, and hope to reach a stage where a range of sounds can be recreated. We will then look at the possibility of creating words and sentences, and at that point we might look at other human remains which share this quality of soft tissue preservation. So what do we know about the priest? Nessie Armen was a priest, incense burner, and scribe at the ancient temple complex of Karnak, the modern day Luxor, during the reign of Ramesses XI between 1099 and 1069 BC. Working in the temple would have required singing and chanting, and according to the news report on telegraph.co.uk, it was a fundamental belief of the ancient Egyptians that to speak the name of the dead is to make them live again, both by living relatives and by the deceased themselves when appearing before the gods of judgement. Nesti Armand died in his mid-fifties, and suffered from gum disease and severely worn teeth. In the UK he is often known as the Leeds Mummy, because he has been lying in Leeds Museum since 1823, and even survived being bombed during the Blitz. The experts passed the mummy through a CT scanner at Leeds General Infirmary to check to see if the significant part of the structure of the larynx and throat remained. A vocal tract can only be restored if the soft tissue remains, and thankfully with this mummy all was intact. Going forward, it could mean that museums around the world that display Egyptian mummies could have buttons on the display so you don't just see the mummy, but you can also hear them speak at the same time. This research has just been published in the Scientific Reports Journal, and I have linked it below, but the last words of this video should certainly go to Nessie Armen. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.